New information in connection with the Haley Cummings investigation. There's a published report that claims detectives showed Misty Cummings bones at the crime scene along the St. John's River. Remember when she was taken out to the dock there? That's when this reportedly happened. And the report now is posted on ArtHarris.com. He was here on the Nancy Grace show last night. He's a former investigative reporter for CNN and also worked for the Washington Post. Putnam County detectives have not confirmed this information, nor have they said if Haling's remains have even been found. J.R. Stone with our sister station WKMG joins us live with more on this report. So, JR, do we have any idea where Art Harris got this information? Because the police have not been very forthcoming about what they found, if anything, when they combed the river bottom. We don't know where he got this information. He would only say, my sources, and he kept going back to my sources. I was in Putnam County last week, and the only thing at that time that investigators said was that they collected evidence, they sent it to a crime lab, and they were waiting back to hear if it was involved in this case. And now this news last night that it very well could be. Misty Croslin was on the dock along the St. John's River last week. Croslin is the babysitter and last person to see Haley Cummings alive. Last night on Nancy Grace, new details were broken in the case. Nancy, sources are telling me that Misty Croslin has been shown bones at the crime scene on the river in Satsuma, Florida. When pressed about those bones, investigative reporter Art Harris, who has in the past worked for CNN, went into more details. What I'm saying is she was shown bones that my sources believe were Haley's. And she told this to cousin Tommy on a ride back to the St. John's County Jail where they're both being held on drug charges. As to the events that led up to Haley's disappearance, those are still unclear. Earlier this week, the Orlando Sentinel talked with Misty Croslin's grandmother, who said that the teen had confessed to her about what happened, saying someone had, quote, wrapped a rope around her and tied it to a brick, referring to Haley Cummings. Last night, Haley's father's attorney said his client has received more information about the homicide investigation. They told him that it was now a, a homicide investigation and no longer a missing persons and that they would have enough to go forward if they wanted to make funeral arrangements. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office will only confirm that they have sent several items to the crime lab. And I can tell you, when we last talked with detectives, they would only tell us that people in this case are starting to talk and there could be arrests soon. But keep in mind, many of the folks in Haley Cummings' life when she disappeared are now in jail on drug charges. For now, reporting live in Orlando, I'm J.R. Stone for Channel 4, the local station. You know, J.R., I just did a Google search, and this story is all over the web right now, a number of different sources. We kind of cut your report off there, and I think you were going to talk about the fact that they also found some other things reported, reportedly by Art Harris, including some pieces of rope. Now, we had an investigator, a private investigator here on the show, who said that they were looking for a cinder block and a yellow rope that may have been used to weight her body down. Is that what you're also hearing? Well, that's what I'm hearing as well, because uh, some of the reports that are out there is that, yes, this yellow rope was sent to the crime lab along with two different cinder blocks that could also be referred to as bricks in this case. And that's coming uh, from the grandmother who was quoted in the, in the Orlando Sentinel and also some of uh, the reports that hit the news last night. J.R. Stone with our sister station, WKMG, in Orlando. And before you guys take the computer, let me just tell our viewers, I want you to go back to the interview we did right here on the morning show last week with that investigator, because a lot of this information was heard here first on four about breaks in this case. Now more information is coming to light.